It's the weekend in Cornwall, in the southwest of England. The sun is shining, and people are enjoying their free time at the seaside. Cornwall is famous for its stunning scenery, pretty villages, and beautiful beaches. And it's a popular destination for people getting away from stressful jobs and busy lives in towns and cities. And there's plenty to do with your free time here. For some people, the weekend is about the simple pleasures and taking the time to relax. At the beach, people take their dogs for walks, catch up with friends or spend time with their families. And for others, it's all about getting active. During the working week, many people spend their time sitting at a desk, and the weekend is their chance to get moving and keep fit. You can be a successful accountant during the week and a passionate surfer at the weekend. All you need is a wetsuit, a board, and perhaps a few surfing lessons first. The beaches are full of enthusiastic sportsmen and women. All you need is a ball, a bat and a group of friends. You can go for a swim or perhaps explore the coastline by kayak. The more adventurous can even try to catch some fish for dinner. But while the sea and coastline are beautiful, they can also be treacherous, with strong currents and unpredictable weather conditions. Every year, thousands of people get into difficulty on the coast, and it's not just the holiday makers who are at risk. For people like the commercial fishermen who work along the coastline, the sea is a place of work, and it's a dangerous workplace. Fishermen work long hours and are paid very little for doing the most dangerous job in the UK. They are 50 times more likely to die at work than people with other jobs. In the UK, when something goes wrong at sea or on the beach, whether you are working or just enjoying a day out, there's an amazing group of dedicated people who give up their free time to help. The members of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, the RNLI, the charity that saves lives at sea. RNLI was formed in 1824 to help anyone who got into trouble in the seas around the coastline of the United Kingdom. The RNLI has both lifeboat volunteers who respond to emergency calls 24 hours a day and lifeguards who patrol more than 160 beaches. The charity uses money donated by the public to pay for its work. For every one pound given to the RNLI, 81 pence is spent on providing a rescue service, while the rest is spent on programmes focused on preventing accidents happening and raising more money for the charity. Since it started, the RNLI's boats and lifeguards have saved more than 139,000 lives. Today, there are over 4,500 lifeboat crew and over 900 seasonal lifeguards working for the organisation. Most of these people are volunteers who give up their free time and put their own lives in danger to prevent accidents and rescue people in need. For RNLI lifeguards, 95% of the job is to prevent accidents before they happen at the beach. They watch the sea carefully to check that no one is getting into trouble. They have to be ready to rush to help swimmers or surfers if they get into difficulty. Lifeguards have to concentrate hard 
and they only stay on duty for short periods of time before they have to take a break. Lifeboat crew members attend emergencies at sea and can be called at any time, day or night. The crew member's pager will go off and they will rush down to the lifeboat station and launch the lifeboat. Let's go. They have to spend many hours of their own time to become highly skilled and efficient lifesavers. So, what kind of people volunteer for the RNLI? Robin Howell is a senior lifeguard on Perrinporth Beach in Cornwall. It's 10am on a Sunday in June and Robin is starting work. He's setting up all his equipment and getting ready for a day keeping people safe on the beach. People are only allowed to swim between the red and yellow flags, as this is the area that Robin is watching. Robin has a radio to stay in contact with the lifeguard base. Uh, my name's Robin Howe. I am a geography teacher at a secondary school in Cornwall. Um, I have uh, a second job, which is senior lifeguard on Perrinporth Beach. I work all year round as a teacher. As a teacher, I don't work at the weekends, but from March all the way through to September, I work as a lifeguard on Perrinporth Beach at the weekends. The lifeguard hours um, are between 10 and 6 p.m. in the evening. Having two jobs doesn't leave much time for relaxing. And even when he's not working, Robin likes to stay busy. I think the main problems with having two jobs uh, is just literally trying to fit it in, you know, in the, in the space of a week. Um, but I'd rather be busy than sitting at home watching TV. I mean, in my free time, I try and do as much as possible. Uh, there's not a lot of free time. Um, but I'm doing a master's in film and I try and do as much sport as possible. I swim in the mornings um, at 6.30, but I also try and do some running and I go to a yoga class once a week as well. And like all the busy people who work for the RNLI, Robin does two jobs because he loves them both. I have two jobs because I love both of them. I love the lifeguarding because it's outside, um, it's very physical. Uh, and I love the teaching because I just like the interaction with the pupils and the fact that I can try and make a difference to their uh, education. Twenty-five-year-old Ben Eglinton is part of the RNLI lifeboat crew in the town of Newquay in Cornwall. His crew is made up of many volunteers from the local community. There's fishermen, builders, uh, landscape gardeners, um, hotel pub owners, um, fishmongers, all sorts, basically. People that own shops, fish and chip shops, all sorts. Ben's been part of the New Key crew for eight years. He's a busy man who works full-time as an engineer in the Royal Navy during the week. So I currently work in the Royal Navy. Um, during the week, I work away in Portsmouth, which is 210 miles away. Uh, every weekend, I make the epic journey back to Newquay uh, to help out with the RNLI. But Ben doesn't mind giving up his free time to help. I've answered my time with the life books. It's, it's good to give something back to the community. It's also a, a great achievement when you're out there and you actually save somebody's life. And it's thanks to Robin, Ben, and all the amazing RNLI volunteers that the beautiful beaches, coastline, and seas around the UK are safer for everyone to enjoy.